Okay, I received an email this weekend about um, someone looking for a particular article and uh, she was not able to access the entire article. She was able to find it but not have access to the complete article. So I want to give you basically three different ways that you can go about uh, overcoming this, this issue. If you actually find an article but again you're not able to uh, access the entire article or maybe it asks for uh, money if you need to pay for the article. So the first step that I would do is go to Google or I'm using DuckDuckGo and I'm going to actually use the title of the article that, uh, that was given to me and sometimes you can get lucky if you do a, a blanket search and go to that document you'll typically go to a web page like this where you'll notice that the database where the article can be found can be uh, identified and sometimes you can get lucky and see the uh, or find the PDF file from this page okay so this is this would be the best case scenario the easiest case where you can overcome this issue of not being able to find or have access to the entire document now a second thing you can do if you don't find the PDF download from this main page you notice that the database in this case is science direct so I'm going to go to the university database that we have available to us and I'm going to go to that same database so it just so happens that science direct also is a database that we have and we can go in and you can log in with your username and password and have access to the same database from here you can then um, do a search for the title or the author and in most cases you can then have access to the entire PDF going to the database but from within the university digital library the third way let's say that you're still not able to find that article you go back to the main page as we've done here and with your add-on extension Google Scholar if you're using Firefox or Chrome make sure that you have the Google Scholar uh, extension or add-on installed and many times if you just click on here it'll automatically populate and towards the bottom you'll see a green box that says PDF and from here this tells you that there is a PDF available of this particular article and many times you can find PDF articles uh, doing or using the Google Scholar so try one of these three methods for finding articles that uh, let's say you're, you're not able to find the entire article usually one of these three methods will um, you'll find that you can uh, access the entire uh, art, the, the entire study but if you do have if you continue to have problems let me know and uh, we can uh, look at that send me the the title of the article I'll try to help uh, but again uh, try to use one of these three methods remember that we have 15 different databases here that we can use so if for whatever reason you're not able to access a particular article certainly try again using a different database I created a video earlier a couple of weeks ago that I identified 15 different databases that you can use uh, to uh, to use to to find articles remember that the Eric database for whatever reason is not accessible even though there's a link in our digital library it's not accessible through our digital library so you can just do a search outside uh, just Google it or go through DuckDuckGo and uh, you can go directly to the page uh, in this way so this is a governmental site here this is uh, a website uh, from the US government that's available to everyone and so that you, sh you should be able to access it directly so I hope this helps again if you have any questions feel free to email me or come by my office and we can take a look at it